Is 48 volt the best voltage for a small solar setup? Most people would say 48 volt is best for large setups. Setups like these, setups that run your whole house. 12 volt is for a small setup. The actual answer may surprise you because it surprised me. Today I'm gonna to tell you what I discovered and why I think 48 volt actually is the best voltage for a small off-grid solar setup. So let me tell you how I got to this discovery. I had a power station that failed, so of course, I took it all apart and inside of it was this, a small 48 volt, 1000 watt hour battery. And I thought, well, wait a minute, what am I gonna do with this? It's just e-junk now. I thought, well, I gotta find a way to charge it, but before I can even charge it, I've gotta get a new BMS because it's the BMS that failed. So I wired up this Dally 48 volt BMS with Bluetooth. Now I have a nice little battery. So I was excited. I said, well, now I've rebuilt and I have a nice 48 volt battery. But how am I going to get energy into it? I don't have anything that'll charge a 48 volt battery. So I looked on Amazon and I found this really inexpensive 48 volt solar charge controller. It's about 45 bucks. So I thought, great, now I have battery, way to charge it. Of course I have solar panels. I thought, well, how am I going to use it? You know, inverters are going to be expensive. You know, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on an inverter. So I looked at Amazon again and I found this cheap 1200 watt 48 volt inverter so this whole setup was 200 bucks 200 bucks to build a nice 1200 watt 48 volt setup it blew me away so i know what you're thinking well, wait a minute the battery was salvaged that's the most expensive piece so i looked it up 16 of these small cells on aliexpress going to be 115 dollars that means this whole setup everything you see here would be under $300 for a killer 48 volt setup. And with a 48 volt setup, you can use all of the advantages of 48 volt. Smaller wires, more efficient solar, and expandable. So this is a simple, inexpensive build that any good DIY person could do. Now I say DIY person because you are gonna need other things. You're gonna need fuses, you're gonna need wires, you're gonna need some tools. So if you have experience building DIY builds, this is going to be the best way to do it. One thing you gotta watch out for is when you're building a 48 volt build, don't use 48 volt circuit breakers. This is good for 48 volt, but this system is actually more than 48 volt. So you have to use higher voltage circuit breakers such as this. Also be careful, make sure that you uh, hook these up right because they can be dangerous if you hook them up wrong. But you gotta make sure you use circuit breakers and fuses that are rated for more than 48 volt. This is a very simple build and you get all the advantages of a 48 volt build. So what are those advantages? Let's get into them. First of all, wire. If this was a 12 volt setup with a 1200 watt inverter, you would need a big old wire like this. This is a two gauge wire, you could do over 100 amps because this would be pushing more than 100 amps. But with 48 volt, you can use a teeny wire because you're only going to be pushing less than 30 amps through it. So you'd have to use a 2 gauge wire on 12 volt, but you can use a 10 gauge wire on 48 volt because you're moving less current. So that's a huge difference. Another major advantage is the solar coming in. Now if you get a charge controller, even a cheap one like this, it can do 12, 24, 48. But at 12 volt, it's a fourth of the amount of solar than at 48 volt. So the same equipment at 48 volt will allow a lot more solar in. So there's a second advantage of using 48 volt. The third advantage is scalability. You're starting out with 48 volt. So if you need more solar, just get another one, keep adding to it. If you need more storage, you have a 48 volt battery. You can just keep adding batteries. Now you will probably have to update this because as your needs grow, you'll outgrow this, but you can always keep the battery. You can add charge controllers and you have a 48 volt system. And look, I don't, I don't care if you use any of this. I bought all this stuff with my own money. I'm not promoting any of this gear. This was just the cheapest stuff I saw on Amazon. So you could buy any level of gear you want. Um, I am gonna link to all of this stuff in case you do wanna buy this stuff because frankly, this stuff was pretty good. I was impressed with how high quality the cheapest 48 volt gear on Amazon was. But buy whatever you'd like. I just wanna show that you have more options when you're building a small solar setup. And this blew me away because I built dozens of small setups and I never once considered using 48 volt because like most people out there, I thought 48 volt is for big home systems. 
you know, it's going to be more expensive. It's, it's just not worth doing. But I was completely wrong and blown away with how wrong I was. This is a $300 or $200, in my case, setup that is 48 volt. So it's all of the power, flexibility, and advantages of a 48 volt system. Now, I still love 12 volt systems. And for a lot of applications, 12 volt is still the best. Like if you have an RV, some sort of rig, you have 12 volt appliances, 12 volt refrigerators, just stick with 12 volt. It makes a lot of sense. It's easy to find, it's easy to replace. So there are definitely advantages to having a 12 volt system. And look, I'm not here to sell you anything. I bought all of this stuff with my own money. You don't have to buy this type of gear. You could buy any gear you want. I just want to show you that you can build out a small system with 48 volt. You don't have to start out with 12 volt, get to a point where you no longer can really use it. You've outgrown it and you have to kind of get rid of the parts. You don't have to do that. You can start with 48 volt. You don't have to spend a ton of money. So if anybody has any questions or comments about anything, if you have built out a 48 volt system or you built out a different type of voltage, Leave a comment below. Love to hear what you have to say. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll talk to everyone soon.